Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video for you today. Today, I will be unboxing this thing. So, um, before we start, I kind of, um, I just wanted to apologize to you guys for not having a video the past, um, the past few days. I got really sick for a while there, and I went to the doctor, and I'm definitely feeling much better. Um, so, I placed an order for Jackson's on Tuesday night, Monday night into Tuesday morning. So Monday night and today is Thursday and this arrived earlier Thursday and I'm in New York City and this came all the way from the UK. So I'm super excited. I'm going to get my Swiss Army knife and um, start cutting stuff up. So it took me a while to, um, it took me a minute to get this box open. I didn't look at the insides. Um, this is my first sort of international order of any kind from anywhere, um, I think that I can recall. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I usually just order from US websites, but um, since um, I finally got a check from AdSense, yay, um, which does not in anyway pay for all the stuff that I got to buy for videos um, but that's another whole nother story um, there'll be a link to that video if you want to check that video out um, anyway um, so I decided to just like go nuts at Jackson's and buy a whole bunch of stuff to review um, and that I needed for the channel um, so there's that um, I found the website was not that easy to figure out it kept like logging me out very frequently and I kept having to change the currency it also didn't clarify what would happen with the VAT and the duty um, so what happened with the VAT was that the VAT just wasn't added to the total at all. So it was just, it just was like it didn't exist, um, which is awesome. As for the duties, um, because this order was only, um, a hundred pounds, cause that's all I got paid from AdSense. Um, I didn't have to pay any duties, bring it in. But um, if it's over a certain amount, then in the U.S. I would have had to have paid duties. And it was also like, I don't think I ordered any liquids. So it cleared customs like super easily. Anyway, um, that was needlessly long. Sorry about that. But in case you guys were curious about ordering from Jackson's. Um, and obviously this is not a sponsored video. I wish. <laughs> ah. um, anyway, so I don't even know what angle to open this up in. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to, cause I normally have a setup for um, a much smaller kind of thing. Oh wow, okay. This is how everything was packaged. Um, it doesn't look pretty, but it looks like everything is safe. And hold on, oh there's a bunch of stuff. Okay, so um, it looks bad, but it's actually pretty well done. There's a lot of bubble wrap and there's um, all sorts of samples like it looks worse than it is because um stuff got moved around but it looks like it's very securely packaged and they taped a lot of stuff to the box itself so that it wouldn't move around which i actually really appreciate even if it may make some noise right now uh, all right all right i'm gonna pause again this is everything it's packs that's everything. It's packs and packs and packs of stuff. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I got so much stuff. Um, I got a lot of various kinds of samples um, because that was the main thing that I wanted to get is I wanted to get stuff that would be difficult for me to get. So that, that accounted for the largest part of the order was um, things that would be, like I said, I don't even know where to begin purchase as well as to get, the, you know, the, I got a couple of fun things. Oh, look at that. Wow, okay. Um, everything that I got, I think, I don't think I got anything that was like legit for myself, like as a toy for me to play with. I think everything that I got is somehow related to the YouTube channel. So I'm super excited about that. I got a whole bunch of paper samples. They have really great prices on their paper samples. Some of which are quite difficult to get here. Sorry about that noise. Some of which are quite difficult to get here. So I ended up just like, I think that was the first thing that I loaded up to uh, onto my shopping cart with samples. Anyway, I've been talking for a while. 
Um, so let's get started and go over what's here. I think that's the order I'm going to go in. All right, so first thing here, this is a catalog. I ordered pretty much all the catalogs that were available because I love catalogs. I think this is their Soft Pastels catalog. This is a watercolor catalog. Oh my God. I so wish I was rich because I would buy all the things. I would have all the things. And it, did I see one of my okay i have this thing on my amazon shopping cart and i just have it in there and i've just been watching the price go up and down up and down up and down because i want this like it's going out of style i already have the set of polychromos but i still want this like it's, isn't it pretty everybody wants this okay anyway um so i have that on my like amazon shopping cart you know i'll never get it um and all right so that's that next thing is we have oh i totally I'm going to, I may be saying, oh, I forgot I ordered this for a lot of things. Um, this is professional cotton canvas. Um, and I have never, ever, ever worked with real professional canvas of any kind, um, even student canvas. And I didn't know what to get. And I figured that they had some inexpensive canvases of various sizes. So that's what I got. Um, I think this was the smallest one that they have. <laughs> And then this is a slightly bigger one. And this might be a different kind of canvas. Um, so I got these canvases um, for my oil pastels. Because I read that you can do um, oil painting on um, canvases. So I got these three canvases to try out. And to see whether or not I like them. And then, you know, like if I like them, I can um, order similar canvases elsewhere. Um, the next thing I have is some watercolor paper. I got a whole bunch of different kinds of watercolor paper. Let me see if I can open one. I think these two are the same ones. Oh, I got two of the same ones. I didn't know you could. I was pretty sure you could only order one of each. So I'm trying to open this carefully and at the same time not really touch it because I don't want to get my hands, my, you know, my human oil hands on the, uh, I kind of ruined it a little bit, but I was kind of trying to do this on paper. Okay, so this is 100% cotton, and um, that's the try me area for the paper. So um, that's a paper. So this is one brand of paper. I'm not sure if I'm gonna open all of them unless it looks like there's more than one kind. Um, I'm not gonna open them, um, cause I don't wanna damage them like I did this one. Um, so there's that. And there's this. This is also a bunch of different kinds of, hold on, let me, um, I'm all right. So now I went through and I just, um, took out the wrapping. This is some handmade paper. Oh, nice. I think not over there means cold press, which, okay. Um, this is some, um, Stillman and Burn paper samples. This is, uh, more paper samples. These are three different kinds. Um, Saunders Waterford, and it looks like it's cold press, hot press, and rough. Nice. Um, a second pack. Um, I didn't know I ordered two or that you even could order two, but I got two. Um, this is, uh, some kind of board. Someone will tell me down in the comments what exactly this is. Um, not exactly sure what it is, but somebody I am sure will tell me down in the comments. All right. That's this. This is more this is, hold on, this is um, Jackson's uh, Eco Handmade Paper, 100% cotton, and um, this has a 140-pound smooth, 200-pound medium, and a 500-pound extra rough. Wow, that must be the one in the back. Um, these look really cool and I believe that these are watercolor papers. Um, 
So I am super excited about that. This is something that I was really excited. This was probably one of the first things I put into my shopping cart. These are non-sanded um, quarter sheet pastel papers because I really wanted to try different kinds of pastel papers. I have um, some soft pastels um, and I thought I didn't like them, but then I tried them on this one paper and I really liked it. And then I could never remember what kind of paper it was. Um, and pastel paper is really expensive. So, um, so I was super excited when I saw this. This is the sanded paper. So these are all papers that have like a little bit of um, texture to them so that when you rub uh, the soft pastels on here, um, they stay to the paper and it's different kinds. Um, let's see what kinds I got. The Art Spectrum uh, Canson, I'm not gonna pronounce that. Um, Claire Fontaine Pastel Matte. Um, I think it was the Sennelier soft card that I tried, um, and, uh, the, um, UART sanded pastel paper, and it's Tim Fisher, um, and these are all sanded paper, and these are all a quarter sheet, which I think is hilarious because, um, I probably would not make anything quite this big. I probably am, I might even need to get some sort of cutting thing to cut these in half, um, cause I'm not gonna make anything that quite that big on this. Now this, y'all should be super excited about this. This I will try to open, even though I said I wouldn't. Oh, I can't seem to figure out a quick way to open. But what this is, is this is a background that I got. Hold on, this is something else. This is a background that I got in hopes that I could lay this down over a table. Um and film on it so for example right now i'm filming on my floor um, but it would be nice to be able to have something that will let me film on a table and i think i can get this open and see how it looks because it because that's mainly what i saw some cutting mats in the u.s and i didn't like them they were like green and they had all these different lines on it and it was extremely distracting and this one, I, I got it thinking that it would be less distracting, but these still look like a bunch of lines. And they do try to make everything super secure, but that means that it's a pain to open stuff. It's almost too secure. This opens, I think. Uh, but I can't figure out how to... Oh, no, this doesn't open. This is the full size. I'm sorry, this doesn't open. This is the full size, which makes me wonder if I should have gotten a larger one. Um, I think we can work with this. What do you guys think? I think this would be the background on, I think it would be on this side. It would be on one of these two sides. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments what do you guys think about having this as a background um, versus this. So these are your two... So far, your two choices. And you guys can let me know what you think about this and if you find this too distracting or if it cuts off too much of the light. Um, you can let me know down in the comments what you guys think about using this as a background instead of this as a background. All right, anyway, um, sorry for that. I thought this was, a, this was a little bit bigger. I guess I should have measured it before I got it. Um, but that's neither here nor there when you shop for stuff internationally make sure you measure or even locally make sure you measure and you don't assume the sizes because I did kind of assume and I didn't measure it that was kind of on me that was kind of my bad I thought it would be bigger that was kind of my bad um anyway um there's more stuff I swear this is all this stuff is taped up super good but um so if you see ow all right I just cut myself um, let's see what this is. Oh, well, okay. This is, um, a Derwent charcoal set. And, um, this is pretty cool. I've never used, I think I got a set of charcoal pencils. Um, so I guess this was the set of the charcoal pencils. And, um, this was the additional, um, extras. I've never used charcoal before. So I figured, um... This would be a cool way for me to try out charcoal and see if I like it as a medium. So that's over there. 
Alright, uh, I'm like literally ready out of space to film stuff. Let me see here. Oh, more. They are not messing around, boy. They are like, uh-uh, you ain't gonna call us till the stuff is broken on my watch. Not on my watch, son. Alright, let's see here. Let's see what all this is. I have no idea what this is, but it's making a lot of noise. The half pans, okay. Um, half pans in America are super duper expensive. They're like 50 cents a piece, which I don't understand um, more in some cases. Um, so I got three dozen half pans. Um, so I am super excited. These are slightly thinner plastic than the ones we have, but I don't care. I'd rather save the money. I think I paid for these three dozen half pans like six bucks. Um, and six bucks in America would get you like 12, if that. So these are all my hat pans now. All right. So there's that. Hold on. I'm like losing. I'm literally running out of places to store all this. Uh, okay. I got two different. I could not find my big Swiss Army knife. And my big Swiss Army knife would have made all this go a lot faster. Oh. Alright, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> oh, okay, now I know what it is. As soon as I saw the brand, I knew what it was. Um, these are for like three dollars. They had a sample set of um schminky soft pastels. And I've never tried um soft past the schminky soft pastels before, and I was like, that seems like a good deal. So I added these to my box. Now my hands are dirty. Oh, see, this is why I don't like soft pastels. I'm gonna see that. I'm gonna have to pause now. Ah, all right, I'm gonna pause. Right. I took a break. Um, it was supposed to be a few minutes, but I ended up eating and doing all sorts of other stuff. Um, but this is what we have so far, and then this is what's left. So that's why I went to go eat because it was a lot left. Um, all right, next thing up. See, I have my small Swiss army knife. Um, my wife says she saw my big army knife, my big Swiss army knife, and I don't know where it is. And I might just have to, I don't know. I gotta find my big one, cause the small one works, but it's kind of, uh... Anyway. Um, holy tamales, okay. This, I don't know what's in here, but the the name is definitely not what's in here oh oh hold on these were some open stocks that i got this is the um fabric castell pit charcoal pencil like i said i've never tried charcoal before so i wanted to try the charcoal pencil this is the ink tense antique white yes there is an ink test like mini review coming up i got an intense and i did some things with it and i will be doing um the ink tense mini review i only got the set of 12 um which is why i got these whites um so because the set of 12 did not come with white and then this is a um pit oil base pencil um, so this is a different, a different, um, I think this is a charcoal also. So there's these, which are going to go in uh, a pencil case of some sort. Six fine art pencils. Um, okay. I was about to say, cause, uh, oh, okay. So I got these based on the recommendation from Lockery Fine Art, who says that the Chinese white is a nice white pencil. So I got four of them. Um, just to try them out and to see if I like them because if I like them then I would have you know a couple that I like and if I don't like them you know I could do like a giveaway or something um, so there's that this is something else okay this does not look familiar at all um, I'm not sure this must be um, a free gift because I don't even know what this is 
Okay, this was a free gift of something, and I think it goes in... Hold on, I'm going to put some of these back in here, because otherwise they're just going to be rolling around everywhere. Um, just going to put these in here, at least temporarily. Yeah, this I think this can fit like six pencils. Yeah, oh no, it's going to only fit five. So I'm just going to put these in here temporarily, because otherwise they're just going to be rolling around. Um, I think this goes with this and it looks like i'm not sure if it was because of the size of my order or if that's something that they do automatically but they decided that i wanted this for free um and um i don't actually have a clutch pencil this is a clutch pencil you put um these leads in here and then you have a pencil that is like always uh sharpened so this is like a clutch graphite pencil um and i don't have i don't own one yet so um that's awesome that one came in there and i think that's everything from here all right next package this is like getting multiple christmases in one day this is crazy um all right back to the mini swiss army knife i'm gonna be so salty till i find my big swiss army knife see this is all right, it works, but I'm still gonna be salty about it for no, no rational reason, because I le legit shouldn't be salty about it. Okay, so remember earlier I said I'm getting everything. Ex I'm only gonna focus on things that um, I can't get in America um, and things that I need. Okay, this is something that I kind of did not need, but I really wanted it because you can't get it in America. This is the Fiber Castell sleeve eraser. And I have one of these, I think I have two actually, um, and they come with a green sleeve, but the, but um, over at Jackson's, they had one with a black sleeve. And I was like, really? Um, Cause I've never had one with a black sleeve before and I thought it would look cool. And I was not wrong, it looks pretty cool. So I am glad I got it, even though I technically did not need this. This was like my one like splurge. It was like, I don't know, like a dollar fifteen or something like that. But I'm not sorry. All right. And this is a sample of um this is the only liquid item in this order. And it is not labeled. Um, so I will have to label it myself. But this is huge. This is a sample of Jackson's brand ultramarine watercolor paint. Um, and I got ultramarine because I love ultramarine and I could just do use nonstop ultramarine all day. Um, so I got this. This you can get here, but um, it was pretty cheap and I needed something to fill up my my thing. This is like a little sanding block um, to sharpen your pencils so that you don't have to keep sharpening them. And this is a mister. And again, you can get these here, but um, it was pretty cheap. And um, I was just curious about the brand. I never got anything from this brand. Um, so I was just, this was just a curious thing. I think these two together were like two bucks or something like that. Um, it was not a lot. All right, next thing. Okay, this is heavy. I'm scared to see what this is. And um, I, if you, oops, sorry about that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, because I've been posting pictures of the status of this order on Instagram pretty much nonstop. Um, and there'll be a link to my Instagram down in the comments, down in the description below, as well as um, they suggested on Instagram that I post the entire order list. So the whole order list will be on Instagram um, in addition to... Um, in addition to, well, the whole order list will be down in the description below in addition to, um, you know, what's um, in addition. I, I can't do two things at once. Hold on. Let me open this up and then I will, I will, uh, I'll say what's supposed to be in there. All right. So in the description below will be um, the entire order list of everything I ordered. Um, and some stuff that you see in here might not show up because I think that I got some stuff for free, like, um, like the, the, uh, the, uh, ah, I'm forgetting what this is called. The clutch pencil, the clutch pencil. Um, I think this is called a clutch pencil. This will not be, I don't think this will be on the list cause I got this for free for the order. Um, so anyway, so that will be down in the description below as well as a link to my Instagram there. Oh, I don't know why it took me so long to get that out. All right. Anyway, so this is this. I 
did order this and I'm super excited. This is again, another set. I think, you know what? No, no, no. I think speaking of getting stuff for free, I think this was free actually. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure this was free. I will look in the description below, but I think this is a different charcoal set than the one I ordered because this one says charcoal. And um, this looks like to be the one that I ordered. So I think I might've gotten this one for free. Um, and if I did, that's awesome because I also wanted this. So that's pretty exciting. All right, so these are Derwent and Derwent um, pencils come in this like really nice case actually. And then there's, um, they have all these uh, different, um, different kinds of charcoal pencils in here along with a sharpener. Um, which, mm, shway, way, way. Um, I kind of would rather get an eraser, but maybe they give you a sharpener for a reason and I will try it out. Um, so I'm super excited about doing um, charcoal um, for doing some quick sketching um, because I am committed to learning to draw if for no other reason than to improve my background. Okay, this I will be reviewing. Um, this is something else that I will be reviewing. These are the um, Faber-Castell Eco Max pencils. I think this is the lowest. This is one of their least expensive um, colored pencils. So I will be reviewing this colored pencil at some point. Um, and it comes with a free sharpener. What's with the free sharpeners? I'm gonna do a review at some point of all these free sharpeners. Um, and I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm probably not gonna be very positive about them. That's not fair. That's not fair. They could all be really good. I'm just being so unfair. I, I'm gonna subtract five points from myself for being extremely unfair about these free sharpeners. Um, I have no evidence that they're not any good. I'm just, that was unfair. <laughs> See that? I, I can learn from my mistakes. Okay, this I really wanted. I have a set of these, another free sharpener. I have a set of these from Faber-Castell um, in their graphic lines and I really like it. So I was really curious to see um, if other brands are different. So, um, and this brand has a different configuration. The one that I have from Faber-Castell is um, five different grades. But I think in this one, they give you two 2H, two, um, two, four, two 4B, 2HBs, two 4Bs, two and two 8Bs, um, which is different than how they how the Faber-Castell ones are set up. But um, I really did enjoy the water-soluble graphite for, for sketching. And I have, I even ended up getting a um, multimedia notebook for that because I enjoyed that so much. All right, next thing, um, we are getting down to the wire. I think there's only like two or three more things left. And then we're gonna consider this little session done. And I do apologize, this has been insanely long. Oh, okay, oh wow, this is really pretty. Okay, this, wow, this is really nice. This looks like my Sennelier one. Um, I got this, um, you can get these in America, but they tend not to be the best quality and they tend to be fairly expensive. Um, so I got this one um, to test out and it does go down there, but there is a little thing on the lip. This is fairly sharp right here on the edge. Um, however, um, you know, it was like, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks, uh, which is still a lot, but it's, you know, less than, I think the ones that I saw here were like 30 bucks for just the empty thin, tin. So this is a nice high quality metal tin um, with a lot of mixing areas. Two big mixing areas here, um, four smaller mixing areas here. I wish that they had rolled up the whole section instead of just the bottom, but whatever. Um, I can use these for my watercolor paints, so there's that. All right, I think there's only one more thing left. Um, I may take a break and return if there's anything left. Okay, this, I know what this is. This, I know what this is. Okay, so what this is, is these are the Coronor Mondeluz, I think that's how you pronounce it, of watercolor pencils. Now, I am working on a review of the regular Coronor colored pencils, and they are really good. Not the, not the, um, not the ones that are solid metal, I think they're called like polymuth or something, um, but the, but the Coronor um, polycolor, the corner of polycolor 
colored pencils are really good and I was surprised and impressed by them. So um, I was so impressed by them that I decided to just get this set of 24 which aren't that which aren't that affordable here um, and they were considerably cheaper over at Jackson's than anywhere I saw them here listed. Um, so there is that. So I, I honestly, um, I'm looking forward to doing my review of both these and the watercolor and the, um, the dry ones, um, because I think you guys will like them, especially if you are in Europe where Prismacolors are super expensive, um, or in any part of the world where super, exp uh, where Prismacolors are super expensive, but the Coronor Polycolors are not. Um, I've, I was, I, I must say, I was quite impressed by the, by the Coronel Polycolor. Um, and it definitely made me want to try out pretty much a lot of their other things. So I probably will, um, try to get, you know, whenever I order from Jackson's, I probably will try to get something from, um, Coronel that is m more expensive here. Cause this was considerably cheaper, um, in, uh, at Jackson's than it was like on Amazon. Amazon, I think had this for like 50 bucks which is a lot and I think I paid 18 so 18 and 50 bucks is a huge difference uh and I think that's everything I'm gonna pause and then be back just to make sure that I didn't miss anything all right this is pretty much all the damage it's all that the board random cat um this is everything um if you are a patron over on patreon um you should have already seen the video i did when i went to the art store um if not you should check that out that video is available for patrons and when i went to the art store i got this which i forgot to add to this order um i think they had it for like four bucks jackson's did and my local art store had this fabric castell pit pen for eight bucks so that's what i paid um, and then this, um, Sharpie white pen also for using th these two also. Um, so these are the two that I got. Uh, the other thing is, uh, there were about 40 some odd items in this order. And I think, um, when you guys saw me open this, you guys uh, saw me being surprised. Uh, this actually was supposed to be a different item. It was supposed to be, um, like this except for tinted charcoal and i think that they just sent me the wrong item um i'm not gonna ask them to ship me the correct item from overseas so i'll email them but i'm i i don't want them to ship that because it would be too much trouble to ship just that so it was a huge order there was a lot of things here um i'm personally extremely happy um that you know, everything is basically pretty much exactly what I wanted, except for that, that one item that was supposed to be a different set. Um, but that's fine. I mean, it was so much here, so many little things. Uh, I, I don't think anybody could have gotten this exactly right. Um, especially since this is my first order from them. So they don't know like what, you know, anything. So I, I don't really see it as a big deal. Um, but just so you guys know that that did happen, um, which is fine. I'm, I, I'm not upset by it at all. Um, so there is that and I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys like this video. There's a lot of stuff coming up and I'm feeling a little bit better. So, um, I should be back on the saddle, you know, doing my three videos a week. Um, if not this week, next week. Uh, and I am super excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, I know this was one of my longest ever videos. And I really appreciate you guys, uh, especially the patrons um, who make things like this possible. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.